Okay. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. The wind is pretty intense right now. But uh, I'm in the woods again, more by the rivers and the bushes. Um, Cause I've had a pretty shit day and I'm just trying to get away. I like to go for walks. And I hope nobody's around. It's, it's awkward when I make these vlogs and like someone passes by or whatever. But anyway, just wanted to talk about like well, about a specific thing in regards to depression. I'm just gonna like sit down in one spot. I think once I can find a good spot. But um, yeah, this looks like a good spot. Shit. Six and Blair Witch Project shit. I'll just sit down by these trees. So, I was saying, <laughs> yeah, forgive me for the wind. Uh, maybe not the best time to record this, but I think thoughts are in my mind, whatever. I want to talk about depression and energy because one of the main things I hear like with advice regarding depression is that you should just find a hobby, you should exercise, you should go outside, you should do something you like, you should pull yourself out of your own rut, you know, pull yourself out by your bootstraps. Sometimes it's actually not possible and I had and while I'm, I'm not saying I'm fully recovered and everything is Gucci now, but it's getting better. And now I can see I was in a situation like my mind was so fucked up, I actually could not do those things. It would, it would have made things worse. And the way that works is it's, it's a matter of recharging and come a little closer to the river. So, I would have, you can think of it like a battery, like you charge your phone at the end of the day and, you know, you unplug it when you start the day. So, it's like my battery only ever went up to 10%, and everyone else was at somewhere between 80 and 10, 80 and 100, you know, normal people have a on and off days, but they're somewhere in that range. For me, I was at 10. I would spend most of that energy just getting up out of my bed and like getting ready. So I was fucking spent by the time I like even get to work. Or to school or whatever it is I have to do. Or if I don't have to do anything then, you know, it's not like I, I can. I just lay in bed. I just try to conserve that energy, you know, stay plugged in, stay rested. Imagine if, after working nine hours, when I was already so exhausted, when I before I even started the shift, I went to the gym after that. It's normal people that could be recharging, that could help them, and I understand that. But when you're depressed and you only you're working on 20% battery, that's actually making it worse. You're burning yourself out. You're actually you will drive yourself mad that way. With severe enough depression, you you can't do you can't do things you enjoy. You can't even find a hobby. You just struggle to survive to do the everyday things. You don't make yourself meals because that's too much, and that's the hardest part for most people to understand. Like I'm still I still have depression. I'm still dealing with it, but. I switched medications and now I'm on one that gives me more energy. And I can actually kind of do things that make me happy now. I can, you know, I'm sad. I'll be sad, but I'll be like, well, I'll go outside. I'll go for a walk. I'll go um, make music or something. You know, whatever, whatever it is that might make you happy. 
I can do that and it won't feel like a gargantuan task. Like, sorry, I think my uh, perspective in the camera just switched. But, you know, I can I can make myself a meal. I can, and it's, and it's basic maintenance things too. People talk about like self-care. Uh, and I don't mean self-care in the sense of like, um, buy yourself ice cream and shit. But I mean like actual self-care, like eating healthy, cleaning your room, living in a healthy environment, and just like generally actually taking care of yourself so that you're healthy is barely possible when you're depressed. So you sink even lower. But now I'm capable of act actual like base basic self-maintenance, you know? But I just... I think it's one of the most misunderstood things about depression that you have control over over how depressed you are or like because there are points that there's certain levels of depression like what I was at and what I still at from time to time I'm at but you can't do anything you are a slave to the chemistry of your body and once you have the chemical problem at least uh, not even perfectly fixed but at least helped out a little bit then you can think about actually improving your conditions and looking at what's what's in your life contributing to your depression but it's absolutely necessary to tackle that chemical imbalance in your brain first and you know there are people who say antidepressants you know they don't work they you know it's about your life they're just gonna make you either gonna make you feel worse or um not necessary, you know, you just have to get a cat and get some companionship so you don't feel lonely or some shit like that. It's maybe for some people who aren't that far into the rut like I have been, but but once I switched my medication, it's actually been life changing. I'm not saying there are no side effects or not downsides, but but I'm actually in in a in a place now where I can start to change my own life instead of being completely at the control of the lack of dopamine or whatever was going on. I guess I'll get up and walk around a little. Like, I think neurotypical people who don't actually have, like, a depression disorder will find it We'll find that going to the gym is enough. Or going for a bike ride or whatever makes them happy, but... When your your whole brain's fucked up, you gotta address that first, absolutely. And that's something I've really realized. There was nothing I could do when I was on my old meds or on no meds at all. There was nothing I could do. I was... No action I would take would make me happy. Uh, would help anything at all, really. Or even if I did take those actions, it would burn me out. It would make me make things worse in the long run. So... I think that's about all I have to say. Um, shouts out to Wellbutrin. And big middle finger to my psychiatrist who told me to go to cold turkey on the SSRIs. Because I've been dealing with the fucking brain zaps and it's some bullshit. But, yeah. Anyway, rate, comment, subscribe. I'm pretty sure nobody actually watches these videos, but I thought I'd make one. Just kind of ramble, and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to hear my own voice over the, over the uh, wind, but you know how it is.